My parents were refugees from Estonia, yeah. and uh, we were sponsored to Grand Haven, Michigan, and we came over by ship and landed in Boston, mm. and then took a train to Grand Rapids. Mm. And I was walking in Boston, but not by the time we reached Grand Rapids. Now I had come down with polio, uh, mm. which was uh, about five years before the vaccine. I used the AATA handicap bus service. Mm. Mm -hmm. which is wonderful that this community has that, mm -hmm. um, but it has some drawbacks in that you have to, you know, make the reservation at least a day or two early. You can't do anything spontaneously. I did get, um, after my first surgery, I got a um, handicap ramp uh, van mm -hmm. so I could um, get into the van with my wheelchair. And uh, also, they initially thought I could drive with some um, a co driving modifications that were not as high tech as mm -hmm. the ones we're now talking about. Mm -hmm. And so I spent about 16000 for those, mm -hmm. and uh, that didn't work out. And now they have to take those out. I found out uh, that Specialized Driving Services of Michigan, which is located in Okemos, does high tech driving evaluations. Uh, and they're the only one in the state that does those. And um, so I went there, I had the evaluation in their car, and I actually drove that day, which was, well, great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, what they do is it, it's apparently the, the equipment itself comes from Sweden, and it's like a little steering wheel, about yo big, with a knob on it, mm -hmm. and it, they mount it wherever you need it. So like if I need it like right here, they would mount it right there. You know, this could swing out of the way. And I have um, a lock, a chair lock, that if you take the driver's seat out, I just drive it into position behind the steering wheel and it locks the chair down. And then I do the seat belt as usual. And, you know, I was used to being self-directive <laughs> and not relying on, you know, all this and, and um, just to be able to go to the store when you want to or, um, be able to go out of town. I mean, I have several friends I want to visit in the Detroit area that I haven't been able to visit. Uh, I grew up on Lake Michigan, you know, to go back over there. I used to drive by myself to, um, when I first retired, to Gulf Shores, Alabama, uh, where my friends and, and I, were all, we rented condos and were there for, well, I was there only for a month. They were there for the season, for the winter. And uh, over to Maine, where I have another friend um, so I used to do all that by myself. So it just feels really restricted not to be able to do any of that. So it would be like regaining my freedom.